Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm inside the new Range Rover Velar SI. This is the P400E version plug-in hybrid 2021 and in this video I will review it. I will show you the interior, exterior, every single detail about this new Velar P400E plug-in hybrid will come in this video. So stay with me until the end of the video if you want to find out everything about this new plug-in hybrid Velar. And first of all, if you're new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see all the new notification and all the new videos that will come on my channel, inclusive the test drive with the Velar plug-in hybrid. Also, we will start with technical data and I have to tell you that here in Switzerland, at least at Emil Frey, I will leave the link in the description, by the way, if you want to uh, see the car, if you want to test drive, if you want to ask them something, if you want to buy it and you are around Switzerland, uh, so check them out. The price here, it's around 94,000 francs, brand new car, Range Rover with premium features. I think it's a great price in my opinion. The car comes with a two liter petrol engine, four cylinders, 404 horsepower, 640 newton meters. It combined with an electric motor. Also, it comes with a battery, 17.1 kilowatt hour battery. The battery is under the trunk. And also the range of the car, the estimated range, it's around 53 kilometers. Not bad, to be honest. Also the consumption of the car, total consumption, combined consumption, it's around 2.6 liters. So it's not a bad consumption for such a big car, for an SUV, it's, it's quite awesome. I'm really curious to see uh, what number this car will do and I will try to test drive it in, in my next video. So uh, we will see the consumption as well. And guys, uh, you can charge the car with DC. So it has direct current charging station, so fast charging station. So you can charge it with 50 kilowatt maximum speed. In 30 minutes, you have almost uh, 80 percent i think in 40 minutes you have a full battery so that's pretty good to be able to have that fast charging there and guys what can i say let's start review it we will go outside and we will go inside and i try to show you every single a little detail about the car by the way if you have question just ask me down below in the comment and yeah let's do it guys let's make the review all right guys so first of all let's start with the key here is the key classic key from Land Rover, Range Rover. Also, what can you do with the key? First of all, you can open the trunk, only press it once, that's awesome. Not like on the other car manufacturer when you have to hold it for a few seconds and if you don't hold it too much, it will lock in place. And also when you close it, the same story, press it once and the door will close. That's a great thing. Another cool thing that I like it uh, is that the fact you don't have to press and unlock the car or lock the car. All you have to do is just have the key in your pocket. And if you go close here, you can see, I like very much this style, this Tesla style, when the handles are going inside the body, inside the doors of the car. And also uh, when you come close to the car, if you press this uh, small button right here, the handle will come out so you can unlock the car super simple also as you see before the car come with also with uh, electric folding mirrors and if you want to lock it back just press this button you will lock it back so how cool is that anyway a fancy feature that also help the aerodynamic of the car when the air come around uh, it's it's pretty helpful and also it looks good yeah in the back the same story you can also lock it and unlock it from the back side so in my opinion it's a great great feature to have it on your car and if you look closely here you have an led light that illuminate the handle in the night time I don't think you can see it also in the front the same story so that's the first thing that i want to show you about the key that's really interesting also another cool thing is the quality of the doors when you close it the quality is just crazy crazy good i will leave the key right now here i will start the engine by the way here you can see also it show you how much battery the car have you can see 38 kilometer range ev range and the battery is 96 percent charged normally you have more but i think they calculate on the previous driving style so yeah now let me start it press the brake start the engine all right right now the engine is start it says good morning also it comes with a new multimedia system this is the pv pro the new multimedia system we will talk a little bit later also i have a full review about it if you want to see it check it out on my channel it's already there now let's go here turn on the lights 
I like the way you turn on the light, the fog lamps as well. Let's go around the car so you can see a little bit uh, the way it looks. So in terms of design, this plug-in hybrid P400 SI, it looks very similar with the normal version. It's a really beautiful car in my opinion. Very nice shape, nice design, nice lines. It's one of my favorite brands in terms of design, in terms of the way it looks. And no wonder why so many popular stars and I can say people with a lot of money buy this car uh, because not only this car but the brand the Range Rover Land Rover brand in, in, in general they buy it because it's it's a super nice car with a lot of premium features it's just awesome now beautiful design beautiful exterior design now let's talk a little bit about LED lights so we can see here in the back uh, the car come with full LED lights and I like this three-dimensional shape of the lights they are really really interesting also the turning signal is kind of a following turning signals here in the back quite beautiful uh, also you have the reverse and the brake light also LED light inside there uh, then if you go down a little bit you can see that even the uh, fog lamps are down here and they are LED light they are integrated somehow here in the bumper on the down part then on the number plate LED light of course on the number plate also you can see here the reverse camera I will show you that the car come with 360 degrees cameras so you can park the car super easy if I go a little bit backward you can see even better from this angle uh, the way the lights are looking pretty nice so you can see the fog lamps in the it's in the both sides of the bumper so yeah in terms of lights super super high class great quality now going to the mirror big mirrors you have blind spot technology right here in the corner i think you can see it the fact that they are big you have a great visibility also i like the fact that you have glossy plastic inserted in the mirrors right here then you have led lights on the side uh, also quite tinted glass here i like the way it looks and i like how it fit uh, with the design of the car so you can see even the the legs of the mirror are made by uh, glossy black plastic so that's really uh, cool it's super fancy you can see it begins here the upper part with black glossy plastic around the windows black glossy plastic tinted windows and all those black glossy plastic with the tinted windows in my opinion look really interesting really nice but we will talk about that a little bit later let me finish with the lights so here you can see the turning signals LED light as well also full LED latest technology in terms of light from Range Rover so you can see from here super nice I love it I love the way it looks I like the, the design the, the lines the shape of it look really interesting also going a little bit backwards you can see also from this angle yeah really nice nice integrated with the car going down here you have also led lights here for the fog lamps and also uh, a line of of light there so really interesting the way they do those fog lamps they are really unique uh, in my opinion because they add this extra line uh, led bar with the, with the fog lamps there and also on the other side the same story uh, probably the most interesting and beautiful light uh, fog lamps on the bumper in my opinion the front of the car the grill right here classic kind of classic for uh, Land Rover really nice in glossy plastic you can see it has some pedals inside there I'm not sure if you can see it so well those pedals are closed right now when it's cold outside and the engine need to be warmer they will close and when it's hot uh, they will open so it will leave the air go inside to the engine to cool down different parts so that's that's a new feature that many cars use it these days but other than that really interesting really beautiful the way they integrate the grill with the front part really smooth and round shapes this is this is kind of a classic traditional shape of the Range Rover to be round rounded shape at least in the last period of time so now in the front six sensors those on the side are for the blind spot technology and those are for the parking sensors then I like the glossy plastic the way they integrate it here in the bam bumper on the down part and uh, also it looks here like you have a air intakes I don't know if you can see it air intakes that allow the air to go inside here and then go outside around the wheels so that helped the aerodynamic of the car also the consumption 
on the down part you have some glossy plastic really nice integrate make the car look really sporty and nice so i like the way they integrate those parts here also another grill here and the same story as uh upper there you have some clappers even there i don't know if you can see it inside there you have those pedals that are closed right now but uh, they will open when you drive so it will leave let more air to go inside there now really interesting is the fact that the front camera for the 360 degrees uh, system it's down here on the down part of the bumper look at this really interesting why they chose to put it down here usually it should be around here but they chose to put it down so yeah quite interesting maybe probably uh, to have a better look on the downside so to don't hit small stuff now here on this grill on the down part you have the radar you can see this round plastic here uh, shape this is the radar behind it is the radar for the adaptive cruise control emergency brake all that safety feature the hood also quite big you have a huge hood here really big and i like very much how they add those plastic glossy here with the range rover writing on them it looks so interesting on the windscreen you have two cameras there I think you can see it. those are for reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist and all that safety features. So yeah, quite interesting. Nice combination. The way they combine this glossy black plastic with the color of the car and the elements that they add, it's quite interesting. You can see also those elements in glossy plastic on the side here. Uh, you can see the roof with the glossy plastic around the roof. Uh, you can see even down here, this glossy plastic uh, inserted in the doors on the down part of the doors also this glossy plastic it's very useful for example when you open the door and you hit something uh, you can change only those plastics and you can yeah you don't have to repaint all the car because the door it's open with all those uh, plastic there and it's also awesome when you open the door the fact that the door it's until down here you can go inside the car without getting dirty on your pants for example in this area so yeah pretty nice it's kind of unique way to integrate it i like the fact that these plastic bands are somehow integrated in the door and it's a flat door it's not like in other cars where those come outside like this so that's a thing that i like very much here on the right side of the car keep in mind is the tank the petrol tank it's on the right side on the passenger side and the charging port it's on the left side here guys so let me show you here is the charging port where you have the ac charging and then you have the dc charging where you can charge the car with uh, 15 kilowatt uh, maximum and you will have you will need a, probably around 40 minutes 50 minutes to have a full battery the battery is under the floor in the trunk so that's something to keep in mind now on the back part here guys uh, you have velar p400 esi so you know which kind of version what kind of car you are driving and on the other side you have the land rover logo and if we go a little bit down here you can see six sensors in the back as well uh, those here for the blind spot technology and those are for the parking sensors the camera you already see it up there and i like how interesting also it's integrated this uh, bumper in the back it's flat here you have this glossy plastic in the back some light reflectors also some kind of air diffuser it's so so small here in the back it's really interesting how they add it here they want to make it look sportier but in the same time i don't know they keep that traditional luxurious shape uh, of the car now as i said before the battery it's under the trunk here down there is the battery keep in mind 70.1 kilowatt hour battery the exhaust pipes you have two exhaust pipes one here and one on the other side they hide it inside there uh, i don't think was a good idea on a plug-in hybrid car to show that exhaust pipes like in a sporty way so yeah probably that's why they chose to hide it now up here guys the roof spoiler look just crazy in my opinion looks super spectacular i like the lines i like those kind of air intakes here i don't know if you can see it guys you have some air intakes there it's, it's just incredible nice one of the most beautiful in my opinion even from down here you can see how the air will come will go from up in and outside here so that helps the stability of the car and also it looks so so nice also some 
bump here, then you have the radio antenna and glossy plastic and also really nice how the way it comes outside in the back here with glossy plastic around there. So beautiful, beautiful. And if you look from the back, from this angle, you can see uh, how nice uh, the car shape look like. So the aerodynamic of the car, it's pretty good for an SUV because of the round shapes, because of the elements that Range Rover, they add to the car. Now in the back also, very nice, this glossy plastic with Range Rover letters integrated there. In my opinion, a beautiful shape. Let's talk a little bit about the, the wheels, guys. The car come with those black wheels, 20 inch rims. They look super nice. And the fact that it's in glossy black, uh, it's nice because it's a great combination between the, the glossy and the glossy plastic around the car, around the bumper, and the glossy plastic from the rims here. So that's from this point of view, is just great. Now it comes with independent suspension in the front, in the back with anti-roll bars. So you have a great, great feeling over the bumps. I drive the car before and it's just perfect. So you don't have to worry in terms of comfort. Ventilated brake discs in the, in the back uh, here, as you can see right there. Also, it comes with those Continental tires. I think they are winter tires, if I'm not wrong. And then if we go in the front, also, by the way, here on the right side, you have the R Dynamic. Uh, logo and then in the front the same story uh, ventilated brake disc bigger brake disc this time in the front they are a little bit bigger but overall if you look from from behind here you can see the the rims fit with the car just perfectly i mean no complaining in terms of of design in terms of the way it looks uh, with the car they look just uh, fabulous Guys, here in the front, you have an automatic lift gate on the engine. So I want to show you also the engine bay, the way it looks. So as I said before, two liter petrol engine combined with an electric motor and also with a battery produced 404 horsepower. I just want to show you the way it looks. Guys, in the trunk, automatic lift gate, as you see it in the beginning of the video. Big entrance in the trunk here. Actually, it's, it's quite a huge entrance very practical in my opinion and also the fact that you have a flat floor here it's really useful and practical you have some uh, aluminum here i like those aluminum uh, very much at the beginning of the trunk it looks so premium and nice now up here you have the button to close the the trunk then you have the handle then you have an led light uh, up here and also you have this uh, protection that you can pull it like this uh, to protect your stuff here in the trunk now here on the left side, you have some storage space with a net. On the right side, you have a 12 volt port and you have some hooks for the groceries right here. Very, very useful in my opinion. And under the floor here, uh, if you look, you don't have so much space. You can see you can open only this small part. And here you have triangle, you have some repair kit and some other stuff like that. You don't have a spare tire and stuff like that because I don't know if you can see here is the battery as i tell you before 17.1 kilowatt hour battery it's right here under this part so the trunk is big it's big enough to put a lot of stuff right here also big entrance uh if you look from every angle you can uh, you can understand that but the only downside is that you don't have too much space uh under the the floor but other than that you have a flat floor you have plenty of space here so if you don't need that space under here uh, you will be just fine even if you go in holiday or on long trips i don't think you should uh, worry about that also if you can see here the car come also with two speakers they are also here in the back on the right and left side integrated other than that i will take this out protection out and then we will fold down the seats to see how it looks with the seats folding down so yeah, let me do that, guys. Guys, I just take out that protection so you can see right now a little bit better uh, the way it looks without it. So, for example, you want to carry long items. You want to carry long items and skis and stuff like that. All you have to do is just fold down this just like that. And then you can carry long items without any problem. And in the same time, you can have two passengers right there in the back. So very useful. This feature, it's incredible, incredible useful. And if you want to fold down all the seats, actually it's a big trunk, I will come here on the side. And also I have these cables, by the way, the car come with some cables, uh, standard with the car. So you can charge the car at home, you can also charge the car at uh, fast char charging stations. 
and this is this is incredibly useful now let me fold down also those seats it's super simple all you have to do is just push it here and now it's folded down and also let me go on the other side the same story also you can do it from here but they are a little bit too longer and you can do it just like that and then when you fold it down you have an extra minus flat floor because it's for the first time when I see that it's normally usually you have a flat floor or you have a flat floor and then um, the floor will go a little bit upper but this time you have a flat floor and then it go down a little bit and then it's continuing so yeah really interesting I should say this is a flat floor yeah because it's it's, it's incredible practical I don't know if you can make an idea from from the video but in real life you have to see the car you will understand uh, when you will see the car the way it looks also I try to show you from every angle so you can make a better idea um, the way it looks also I like very much that glass roof and I totally recommend you to get it as an option because it make the car much more brighter it make it looks uh, incredible nice uh, in the interior so yeah let me go on the side let me show you also from the side the way it looks also here you have a big entrance uh, right here on the side in the back and from here you can understand a little bit better the way it looks and the space right here in the back so yeah pretty pretty big pretty spacious also you have some storage space here on the legs room as you can see here the tr transmission tunnel it's quite big this is the thing that I told you before we have like five to ten centimeter here kind of a downhill and then continuing flat so yeah that's it guys now let me put everything back and then we will continue in the interior a big window here from one pieces here you have soft material high quality material also here you have soft material and nice trim if you look closely you can see a very interesting trim then you have this handle in chrome that feel really good quality to be honest I, actually I think it's metal usually those are made by plastic but this is really actually metal so that's really interesting very good quality now going here you have some kind of plate night interesting gray uh, plate then you have leather here in this area white stitches glossy plastic handle then you have a small button right here to close and open the windows and also good quality then you have a storage space quite big storage space and uh, one of my favorite part in this car is the fact that look at the design of the speakers in this uh, metal aluminium plate here they look super super nice and also you have two speakers on the door uh, right here in the back so very very good quality and it looks just uh, premium the door as always Range Rover uses with those premium uh, high quality uh, materials on the cars now going inside big entrance as I told you also you can see from here the space right here in the back you can take a look uh, in the beginning the space is quite nice quite big uh, and also these leather seats high quality leather premium premium leather and even in this area where here usually it's plastic or stuff like that we have this soft soft material and leather and you can see the white stitches you can see the headrest you can see the little holes right there high quality two iso fix uh, for child you can install two child seats here in the back and also uh, look here on the side you have this alcantara on the side and then you have the leather very nice side support very nice design they are pretty big and comfortable uh, we will go inside we will see how much space we have here as well here in the middle two cup holders leather for your armrest here uh, it's just perfect perfect I mean uh, everything you need it's right here going forward behind the front seats you have some kind of a plastic uh, then some storage space right here very very practical then going forward to uh, vents also the vents feel quite okay as you touch it not something super premium but they are okay uh, quality also heated seats in the back too then you have a 12 volt port here I don't know where is the USB Range Rover uh, usually in 2021 have to be some USB ports there but it's okay it's okay now going inside look at this guys you have this phenomenal glass roof that I love it and I recommend you to get the car with it because it looks in a big way love the way it looks let me close the door oh yeah you hear that that's a Range Rover quality yes this sound it's it's gorgeous 
LED light up here on the roof. Handle hooks high quality on the roof here. I like that material. Uh, then I like the fact that, look at this, I have plenty of space here and I, I have the seat, it's very well formed for your body. So you sit really, really good here. Uh, the visibility is great over the windows. Also you have a window here in the back. You have those windows, it's just perfect. Now in terms of head space, four or five fingers, I'm 173 centimeters, so keep in mind that. Uh, you can make an idea how much space is here. And also on my legs, this is the space, guys. Pretty good space, at least for me. Uh, and look in the front how the seats are array right there. So overall, uh, you can even put these seats more in the front without any problem. And you still have a lot of space. Also, I can stretch my legs under the front seat. It's no problem. In terms of space, quite, quite good space. And also the quality here, um, the comfort, it's, it's quite good. Now, let's go in the middle. Here you have a huge transmission tunnel. So yeah, you have to make a big step just like that. And then once you're here, it's quite nice because it's, it's relatively big, this space here for the middle uh, seat, at least for me, it's great. The head space, I have like four, almost five fingers, stretch my hand completely, right, left stretch completely. Quite nice, I mean, the space is good. On the knees, it's also four fingers and here a little bit more this is the space guys quite good here also in the middle up here you have some microphones also the speakers right there in the back now we will go in the front and then we will talk about the things right there also the dashboard pretty classic for a range rover for velar uh, it looks nice uh, in my opinion also it comes with a new steering wheel a new multimedia system we will talk about the, every single uh, stuff in the front right there so yeah Let's go. The same story, big windows in the front from one pieces. So you have a great visibility also in the mirror there. You can see from here. Here you have a small speaker. Then you have the same soft material, very good quality. Here the same story, the same material as on the back doors. And I like those triangles design, the same handle. Uh, here you have the same uh, aluminum plate, kind of the same color as the speakers. Then the leather, soft material, glossy plastic, the buttons there quite unique buttons the way they look and then you have also the controller for the mirrors and then you have the position to save the seats you have like free saving position for electric seats lock and unlock buttons integrated right here in the doors some huge storage space to be honest here in the door bands i like that then here you have the speaker again as in the back meridian speakers great sound and i cannot show you but it is really, really good sound system. And other speakers, we have two speakers here in the door, two speakers in the back. Aerodynamic at the entrance, some aluminum plate here, aluminum pedals as well, so that's, that's great. Then you have some buttons here for the brightness of the screen, and this is to open the trunk, and this is to open the, the tank, the petrol tank. And if we go a little bit upper, you have the same design, same trim design, uh, soft material stream design as you have it on the doors right here up a little bit you have those vents very small and nice vents very nice combination of glossy plastic with chrome it looks good and all over the upper side of the dashboard here keep in mind that here it's soft material look at this soft and here it's a plastic so this area here it's plastic because they integrate the head-up display so they add here only plastic so it's I think it's much better like that. But other than that, other parts are made by soft material. The car come with electric adjustable seats. You can see controllers right here. The same as in the back, the same uh, material quality in the front here as well. Those leather seats with Alcantara combination, uh, side support, they are super comfy and they look also uh, very nice in my opinion. And you can see Alcantara, it's here, it's here and also down here. So pretty nice pretty nice also another thing that i want to show you before i go inside is down here you have chrome design and then the car come with the storage space down here under the center console this is something that i want to show you so you can put your stuff even down there let's go inside let's close the door around the windows very good quality very good visibility um you can see from here from every every 
uh, angle so the visibility is quite good no complaining here and also you can see one more time the seats right there in the back here in the middle you have soft leather material um, so you can rest your arm without any problem just like that in perfect position you can open this individual so if you want to open it individual or you can open uh, both of them and then you have some storage space quite big storage space USB-C USB 2 12 volt port here quite nice and useful then you have two cup holders right here in the middle glossy plastic in the middle with chrome design Land Rover it looks clean and nice you have to pay attention to this glossy plastic because you can scratch it very easily here you have a, a cup holder space and then here you have the transmission that come with eight speed automatic transmission parking button and then it's simple you have a button here behind all you have to do is just press it and then go back like this or go forward uh, in reverse if you go in reverse by the way the car come with 360 degrees camera I just forget to show you the cameras on the side on the mirrors but uh, keep in mind that you have look at this you can have you can see your car where it is right now and right now you can see the door in the back it's open actually it's not open but uh, I leave it um, I didn't close it properly and that's why it's show you like that but Quite nice, quite nice in my opinion, super nice uh, system, also you can see the front camera, you can see the reverse camera, um, this is this is great, you can see it from every angle, so it's a great, great, when it comes to parking the car, put it in park, let me go forward, uh, down here you have this nice screen that it's incredible nice integrated with this center console, look how nice they integrate it, you don't even notice it's a screen right here, look at this. It's incredible and not only there but you have also this climatic system for example that you can set it from here and here begin the screen kind of the screen and you have those wheels here super quality wheels and it looks so nice so fancy so expensive you have the button for traction control downhill assist um, the AC buttons and they are also integrated you can from here you don't see it's a button there look at it you don't see it's it's a, a touch button or stuff like that so it's fancy this is trend 2021 this is the, the future in my opinion and it looks really good and from here it's so simple you press those vans you you actually choice uh, the speed of the vans then you can close it of course as well you have here this button it's a trend these days that you see it on many cars and this one here when the car it's when the car have this heated uh, windshield I don't know if you can see if I zoom in you can see those little lines and those allow you in the winter to defrost the, the windscreen in maybe one minute just press this button it's incredible useful when you go to work in the morning and you don't feel like you scratch all that ice on the on the windshield so that's really great other than that I think you already know all that functions there then if you go up a little bit here you have kind of a free uh, on this screen you have three things that you can do you can control this climatic system yeah let me actually let me close it yes zero you can control or maybe not you can control the climatic system you can choose where the air to go down up left right you can see it's simple you just press it like that then the car come with a new system guys I read about this before I start this video let me show you uh, this is purify you can see this purify here that means the car have a, a new filtration system new filters that allow the car to filtrate until 2.5 pm that little particles of pollution from outside so inside the car you will have a incredible clean air so that's something to, to point out and I want I want you to know that seat heating of course you know what it's seat heating in the front here you have uh, heated seats and then you have the vehicle on the vehicle here you have a few few options for example you can choose the driving mode right now we are in hybrid you can choose the EV mode when the car drive only in electric mode uh, you have a range of uh, around 53 estimated range maybe less sometimes depend on the weather and then you have here the different driving mode dynamic program select here is different driving mode guys so from here you can you can choose which driving mode you want uh, to so for example dynamic program select echo mode 
and then you have here like comfort program select and then you have kind of a, a grass gravel snow program select then here you have the mud rut program select and then you have this sand program select and then from sand here on the right side you have also uh, start stop engine button auto hold by the way the auto hold button is right here uh, you can activate and deactivate it from here and then you have this button i want to show you that the car tell you every single information about every single driving mode for example you can see here on off-road it tell you that maximum uh, half meter uh, you can go kind of off-road you have to pay attention because it's danger also the water the same story half meter not more uh, than half meter you can go inside the water also you have some 404 four all wheel drive information when you go off-road but when you change the different driving modes here if you go to the tr information it will choose the driving mode and then here it will give you all the info about the every single driving mode if you go to echo mode it will tell you here what it's echo mode and it will explain you about every single uh, driving mode from here but i guess you understand it the first one is dynamic mode the second one it's echo mode it gives you the best economy then it's comfort mode then it's gra grass gravel snow then mud rust sand so yeah that's something to keep in mind really interesting so this part this screen you can control this uh, function it's kind of a shortcut to those function of course you can activate it also from the screen here uh, from the multimedia system but keep in mind that you can do it also from down here now let's go uh, to the multimedia this is the new pv uh, pro multimedia system from a uh, range rover uh, i already make a full review with it if you want to see it check out on my channel i don't want to go too much into detail there you find more information and details this screen can go out from here when you start the car uh, when you put the contact it will go out and then it will go inside here it's quite nice it will tilt a little bit so you can see a little bit better now here you have the home screen for example uh, you can see the, the connected phone you can see the media you can see the range and ev this is a new option and only on the plug-in hybrid cars you find it and if you press here you can see all kind of information about the car you can see right now the energy flow it will show you that the engine is running with yellow and then it's uh, recuperate and regenerate and actually it's charged somehow it's charged the battery while it's working in the same time so that that's cool it will show you how much range you have in the battery 41 kilometers and how much is total range here the battery with the petrol tank 500 and three kilometers so quite nice it's simple and nice while you're driving you can see those energy flow here you can see how much energy you have in the battery and what happened with the range and stuff like that you can choose to charge now or uh, prefer a charge it period you can choose when you want to charge it you can choose from here and activate those stuff so when you hit, when you put in the cable you can choose when the the charging to start and stuff like that so keep in mind this is a new option for the plug-in hybrid something that i want to show you in this multimedia system and other than that here you have some shortcuts like a navigation system where you can see also new only on those plug-in hybrid or probably electric in the future cars from Range Rover you can see the EV stations in the navigation system so from the EV station you press it once it will show you where are the charging station near you so you can go and you can choose one and you just press go and you go directly there it will navigate there directly and it's crazy crazy nice also this navigation system it works really good I just noticed that uh, it's better than the previous one it's it's quite nice it's work fast and nice and it's perfect also you have a 3d map uh, on it so yeah 2, 2d 3d the way you want it then you have the the mobile phone here connectivity you can connect your phone without any problem then you have the media and then you have the home on the home you see it before you have all those home screen uh, options then you go to the settings down here guys and then it will open up some settings for example the screen brightness for example let me make it brighter you can choose the dark theme or a white theme you can go to home screen here you can customize the way you want it you go to audio here you have all the audio uh, from meridian to adjust stereo meridian and stuff like that then you go to all settings and on the all settings you have the all settings of the multimedia system connectivity vehicle settings general settings you can change the language apps here for example vehicle apps or phone 
then you go to notification software update because the car make updates uh, to the to the software then the general here you have general settings you can see it right here and then you have the vehicle settings where on the vehicle settings uh, if you go here, you have the driving assistance, safety settings, uh, security, exterior light, convenience, cabin light, units, and stuff like that. If you go to driving assist, you have collision avoidance um, and all that safety features. You have it right here. Okay, I'm not going to go too much in detail about this multimedia system because I already make a video. But yeah, I think you get an idea about it uh, and about the system. Then going forward, I like also pretty clean design here uh, you can see the vents there glossy plastic also when you touch those vents they feel quite good then you have the start engine button here on the side and going forward to the head-up display I don't think you see it before but it's one of the best directly on the windscreen you have plenty of information so the head-up display it's one of my favorite and yeah you should get it in my opinion you should get it if you buy the car now going down here you have the same screen digital screen as you have it also on the previous or on the normal version and then you have the speed the, the uh, rpm in the right side you have the navigation in the middle and also of course you can go in some extra details that i will show you now head up display you can change different information and settings display there the trip the the media then you have the vehicle here all kind of information about the car you will have it there of course it's not so customizable as a mercedes but still uh, great resolution great information there in the front now the steering wheel it's a little bit different and i like it to be honest i like it very much they still keep that uh, range rover design and feeling great grip great quality uh, also some chrome design glossy plastic very good quality even here in the middle you can see the stitches Range Rover logo uh, in the middle then I like very much those are one of my favorite stalks here behind um, the steering wheel I love those stalks the way they look with that chrome then you have some pedals to change the gear manual if you want to have some fun and actually they are not plastic you can hear it it's it's a metal so that's very good quality I didn't expect that and here you have some kind of new controllers I don't know if you see it before guys let me show you and you can control from here they are not a touch screen they are actually physical button you can hear when i touch them but they look quite quite nice they look fancy they look uh, new they look expensive in my opinion let me zoom in a little bit just like that yes and then here's the volume and then on the other side here you have the controls for the cruise control and all that safety features um, you can set the cruise control limit heated steering wheel by the way and yeah i think you can you just make an idea uh, about them now going forward something that i like very much up here guys let me zoom in a little bit you have a space where you have those sos button uh, and also information button then you have in the middle this is the control for the glass roof uh, and also this is the um, the curtain yes and then you can open the curtain and this one here is to open this glass look at this and you open Mm, this is open so much I think this is one of the biggest sunroof that you can you can open it only half but actually he's incredible big you can see it's until here but if you want to open it up I noticed that you can open it up only half of it I don't know why you have also this insect protection here it's look quite nice not bad not bad in my opinion but it's so huge look how big it is uh, I was expected to be able to open a little more, but I guess you can't. Anyway, going forward, LED lights up here, quite nice, kind of a touch screen light. And then you have the mirror, quite nice mirror, tiny edges, really fancy and very good visibility in the back there. Also up here you have a microphone and then you have this um, mirror with a little bit of LED. Also fancy handle, good quality on the roof. I guess that was the video. I don't think, I hope I didn't miss something. I hope I give you some useful information uh, with this uh, Range Rover Velar uh, plug-in hybrid P400E. Guys, if you have questions, just ask me down below. Maybe I missed something. Also, I hope it was helpful for you. I hope you get some useful information from this video. I hope you enjoy it. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the test drive with this Velar. 
uh, if you want to see the newest car that will come on my channel just click the subscribe button to see it also guys if you want to buy the car if you're around Switzerland I will leave the link in the description uh, so you can check out the car as a conclusion I think the car offer a lot of high class premium quality materials in the interior a very good space in the back there the shape of the car it's incredible beautiful I like the round shapes I like the unique round and uh, bumpers and uh, design of the car it's so unique and so nice and uh, it will still Range Rover it will still stay one of my favorite cars in terms of design and quality also the new PV Pro multimedia system it's really good also great multimedia system great head-up display great seats with great great comfort here on those seats it's, they are incredible comfortable a lot of space in the back in the front um, I don't think I can complain so that was the video guys I hope you enjoy it I hope you get some useful information from it if you want to see uh, more of those kind of video don't forget to subscribe like and share and thank you to all of you that watching my video stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys Thank you.